Well, this is Artifacts of Mars. And this is the University of Portland, which is different from the uh, other university that I did a story on. That was a state university. This is a private Catholic college. What they want uh, students of color to do, basically. It doesn't necessarily say all, just students of color, by the way, but that's, I think that's mostly what it is. They want them to ca call the campus police. If somebody says something, it makes them uncomfortable. Well, what on earth is wrong with these schools in Portland? Not that Portland's unique, but what on earth is wrong with them? Uh, we're all going to say things that are going to piss somebody off at one time or another. Top resource list on our reporting options is University's Public Safety Department, which operates 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and includes a director, two sergeants, and nine public safety officers, department reports. They should be out chasing drunks and things, not harassing students and say something that somebody doesn't like. University of Portland takes seriously its responsibility to provide an inclusive environment for all members of our community, says Rachel Barry Arquit in an email to College Fix. Barry Arquit is the university's director, director of marketing and communications. Unbelievable. The Beacon Campus newspaper reports Speak Up was created at a time when students of color feel isolated on campus through the widespread use of microaggressions on campus. Which means basically you're going to have to keep your mouth shut and not say anything. You're going to be afraid to say anything when you're on campus because next, next thing you know, you say one thing you're going to be in handcuffs. I don't know what's wrong with these Portland schools. I don't understand what's going on here. Well, I do understand it's fascism. But we're going to have to do something here because at some point this is going to get so bad that people are going to revolt. University of Portland is a top-ranked private Catholic college that enrolls about 5,000 students during the university's Website. Well, I'd say they're lower than whale shit, as far as I'm concerned. We strive to promote a safer environment where all people can live, work, and learn. Campus leaders state on the university website. We all ask. We ask all our students, faculty, and staff for a willingness to enter into conversations that celebrate the backgrounds of all people and foster an inclusive community, which means if you're white, you're screwed. During the Beacon Campus newspaper, Diversity and Inclusion's Speak Up web page was launched last year. I'm going to put this on hold and I'm going to show you the, their other uh, BS. Okay, here's the uh, homepage for this Nazi like school. They uh, are absolutely opposed to free speech, of course. And here's, here's the big issue besides the fact that they're censoring all speech, is that you're never going to know that you piss somebody off until you have the cops putting you in handcuffs. This is ridiculous. These are of the same exact ilk as Nazis. That's, I don't care, I've said it, I'm not taking it back. These are left-wing, wacko, nutcase socialists. They're Nazi-like. And, you know, you need to do something. It's, it's ridiculous. We're going to have to rein in these schools somehow and get free speech back on campus. Now we'll take a look at their uh, webpage, which is 
utterly absurd. I don't know if this is the web page just from their uh, newspaper. But basically, there's nothing that you can say that won't get you in trouble. What are microaggressions? Microaggressions are simple, everyday exchanges that intentionally or not send negative or derogatory messages to a person based on the race, gender, identity, sexual orientation, ability, or culture. The problem is that uh, they're, they're making up rules as they go along. And you. They don't say, you can say this, but you can't say that. They don't tell you what you can and cannot say, but if you break the rule, you're guilty, even though you didn't break any written rule. This is, a, this is the way they do things in dictatorships. This school supports dictatorships and that type of thing. And it calls itself a Christian school, even though it's perfectly okay with homosexuality. I have a serious issue with that. Microaggression theory is based in concerns over what doesn't feel like racism, but clearly feels devaluing. A person might not go just out there and say something derogatory, but the offended person might say something like, Gosh, that hurts. I don't know why it hurt. That's why I'm struggling here right now. Am I overreacting? Yeah, you are. Research. While well, a single instance of microaggression might be troubling over a lifetime of inner turmoil of how to properly react to others takes its tolls. Research has shown constant exposure to racial discrimination is linked to higher instances of mental illness as well as contributing stress, depression, and anger. What discrimination? You can't say anything without getting in trouble. That's much worse than any discrimination. And it goes on and on. This is no different type of thing the Nazis did. Uh, this is a dictatorship. This is dictatorship stuff, and you... University of Portland supports, obviously, a dictator-type environment. If they didn't, they wouldn't be doing this. It's that simple. This is a dictator, dictatorship-oriented type policy. They hate freedom, they hate representative government, they hate the American way of life. They want to basically end all free speech. That's what they're trying to do. And I'm going to continue hammering on this because you've got to wake up, people. We've got to get so-called academics to think like this out of the schools. They have to be thrown out of the schools lose their teaching credentials, and be out of there. You get something in, pro in place that makes sense. When somebody's in your face giving you a ration, that's one thing. Okay. Somebody's screaming in your face, okay, haul them away in handcuffs, throw them in the drunk tank, and cool them down. But, come on. You can't sit there and regulate speech like this, it's not going to work. I'm Artifacts Mars, I'm disgusted. I'm in the middle of a snowstorm, so I better get this done. Thanks for watching.